final report on the commercialization of churches and the abuse of people's beliefs in February. The commission has reacted angrily to ongoing outrageous practices in the wake of its extended public hearings. SABC News reporter Maheket Lamotlabe looks back at the dubious modus operandi of some charismatic church leaders and how congregants are swayed and duped. Is it nice? Praying it nice? on the desperate and vulnerable served a vile cocktail from petrol. You feel fine? Yes. Had you you not fine? For yes. Pineapple juice. And grass? Don't eat! Don't eat! Tourettes and snakes. The mushrooming of unregistered churches and appalling and risky practices have prompted calls for the regulation of the religious sector. The CRL Commission launched an investigation and summoned religious leaders, many unwilling and defiant. Many people were healed from eating those flowers, from eating that grass and everything. Church finances were also probed. There must be a bank account. It can be in a, a bed somewhere in your house. The problem here, you're using intimidation. When I answer, I'm being threatened. Well, if you come here and you refuse to answer questions, section 41 will kick in. Kick in. Because you're being here. Yeah? If I will go out with bail, I will. If I, there's no bail, I will remain in prison. In the Eastern Cape, the Seven Angels Ministries Church was grilled. 18 minors were rescued from the church early this year. They were prevented from attending school. We will carry on preaching what we are saying. Children must leave school. People must listen to the teachers whatsoever because there is an intruder in school. There is a killing power inside the school. The evil spirit took the school over. So we are not working for the evil spirit. We are angels coming from heaven. The commission was resolute. We are here telling you, you're skating on thin ice, you don't qualify for the protection if you are going away from the constitution. The constitution, abandoning the constitution, will find all seven angels wanting. While we are here on earth, abide by the constitution, respect the laws of this country, register your church accordingly. From province to province, unrepentant pastors and prophets i believe most of the pastors who fight this they've got demon but they are not aware this is my belief i'm sorry to say yes the commission ran out of patience it needs to stop people must abide by the law in its preliminary findings the commission found that the majority of these churches did not abide by the country's laws Non-compliance is far-reaching with regard to governance structures, financial reports and advertising, among others. While the Commission was proposing the immediate establishment of a regulatory body, shocking and extreme practices continued. Limpopo-based prophet Litebo Rabalajo sprays doom in the faces of his congregants, claiming the insect killer helps to heal the sick. We don't have fear. We know uh, the side effect. We know what can happen. But once you hear the word from above, you are not shaking. I, I believe there, there is a photo there of a young guy who came there with an issue of ice where we sprayed in the ice immediately. His eyes were clear. Despite a warning by the manufacturer, the 24-year-old wouldn't relent. Is it biblical or what? It's biblical. You see? That's the main thing. It's biblical. It triggered a social media storm with some wanting the prophet of doom to face justice. The Limpopo High Court subsequently interdicted such acts. But the snake pastor leapt to his defense. Prophet Penuel Mguni pledged support on Rabalaho's Facebook wall, saying, We are not going to rob our faith. This is total demonstration of God's power is not doom anymore, it's medicine from above. Mguni also used the platform to justify his own bizarre act. He stated, Turn snake into chocolate. It depends on you whether you make Bawan, PS or Kit Kat. And if doom doesn't cure you, you can drink Dettol. 
Prophet Rufus Parler of AK Spiritual Christian Church in Limpopo believes the antiseptic liquid heals the sick. The CRL Commission maintains these practices bring Christianity into disrepute. Interviewed a few days ago, the chairperson said its work was not in vain. What we've succeeded to do is to make people more conscious that there's a huge problem in the country. It will stop the day we pass regulations. But more resistance can be expected. This investigation was characterized by its lack of detailed scope, poor articulation of its intended outcomes, their lack of jurisdiction on some aspects as well as how information would be processed thereafter. The Commission has brushed off the criticism and advised further comment. We are saying end of February, we then will be taking it back to Parliament when Parliament opens and we will be discussing it with parliamentarians in terms of how we think this problem can be solved. Is it sweet? Mm, right. Is it nice? Self-styled prophets are charismatic and powerful. As you have said it, pineapple. It tastes like pineapple juice. It it like pineapple. pineapple juice. Pineapple, as you have said it. And among the poor and sick, the desperate and gullible. Skeptics say no intervention will stop it. The hopes of many are on the lawmakers. Mara Gilda Matabe, SABC News, Johannesburg.